Good. I have no slides, so I am just going to plan on charming you all with how eloquent I am. So, hi everyone. My name is Komal Sandhu, and I work on Developer Student Clubs globally based out of New York with Erica. Um, thank you so much for the amount of attention that I've been seeing from all of you. I've been kind of like walking around the back and through every session seeing how engaged, involved all of you are, taking pictures of the content. Really, really cool and I hope that you bring this back to your communities and share back and get them as excited as we all are to have you here, right? So um, I'm going to start with a few questions. How many of you want to work in tech once you graduate? Show of hands. That's, I would say, about 95 to 100%, right? <laughs> now, how many of you feel like you have everything you need in order to actually get that job in tech? Take a look around. Do you see a breakdown? Yeah? So you've seen this kind of like phrase pop up a couple of times today, and it's that we're trying to bridge the gap between theory and practical application for student developers, because there is a breakdown. And that's a key reason why Developer Student Clubs exists. Now, how we actually go about bridging that gap is not just encouraging you to host workshops and events where you do cloud study jams and you kind of grow the knowledge of student developers on your campus. Well, we tell you to take that knowledge and actually identify local problems around you, right? And build real solutions for real problems. So let's take it from theory and actually apply it in a practical fashion that can on, not only allow you to add, hey, on my resume, I actually build a solution, but now all the students that you brought along with your journey get to have that skill that will really, really allow them when they graduate to attain that job in tech, which from the sounds of this room, everyone wants to do, yeah? So to talk about the solution challenge specifically and why it came about is we had students last year doing, so the program launched in 2017, the way Erica said, and we had communities in India, Indonesia, and parts of Africa. And these students were incredible. I mean, the momentum, the innovation, the creativity, the drive was truly inspiring. But one piece of feedback these students shared was, how are we getting recognized, right? Because a lot of responsibility falls on your shoulders, on the shoulders of the core team. And that was feedback received from students. And we said, you know what? We need to create a platform where we can recognize students. So how many of you feel that problems go unsolved around you. Now, how many of you feel that oftentimes talent goes unnoticed? And that's why we have the solution challenge, right? It is, happens once a year, and it will happen around February and March of 2020, so you know when, right? Um, but we're starting talking about it right now because we want you to really understand what it is why we're doing it, how it's going to work, so you can start building out your plan for the year to make sure that you're set up for success. Cool? So I'm going to talk a little bit about the program. I only have a few minutes. I want to save some time for questions. Um, so what it is, is it happens once a year. It's an open call for the best solution that your community has built, right? What does that really mean? So the things that qualify as a best solution, we want to make sure that you're addressing a real problem. Now, you hear, hey, work with local businesses. And you know what? Sometimes it is a local business, big business, but sometimes it's also a greater community problem. If you think back to the video we watched earlier with David, right, they were solving for a problem that was felt in their community of students coming to their campus, right? If you think back to another, the, any stories, you notice that the problem goes beyond just a business. It could be something that you sitting together as a group identify that's face shared by a lot of people, and maybe you find users affected by it and go collect some feedback on that. So make sure that it's addressing a real problem. We want to make sure that you have taken the steps from that problem and worked with year, real users, collected feedback, gone to them and said, hey, this is some kind of solution that we're working on. What do you think? How is it working? Does it fit your needs? Iterate. What we are looking for is that you're not only identifying a real problem, but actually bringing solving that problem through the development cycle, right? That gets you working with real clients, real users, getting that feedback, right? Now, one thing that's really important, particularly in the US, I don't know if you guys know this, but about 89% of all businesses in the US are small businesses with less than 20 employees, right? Think about that. A lot of those companies and small businesses 
have problems and challenges that they're facing. So a lot of you will solve problems for local businesses. That will happen in this ecosystem. But what's really, really important to note is making sure that you're setting the right expectations with them, right? You're not committing to too much. You're managing those relationships because even outside of DSC, if you build a relationship with a client, you wanna make sure that you're setting the right expectations. You're making sure that anything that you build for them, you're bringing back to them, collecting feedback, right? So to go back to what is a great solution or what's the best solution you should submit, make sure it's addressing a real problem. Make sure that it's involved connecting with the user and getting feedback. We wanna see that it's incorporating some kind of Google tech. It's not limited to just Google tech, but we wanna see you incorporate and be creative and innovative with technology, right? So thinking about things like, okay, is the solution that I'm building scalable? How am I deploying it, right? Those kind of questions, and the way that we actually evaluate this is you guys submit all your stuff through a Google form that will include a demo of your solution, and then we'll have it evaluated through an unbiased group of Googlers, and then in addition, we'll have interviews where we actually reach out and probe around understanding how did you get to the solution? Did you build it yourself? Did you build it with a team? Did you actually connect with the user? How many times did you have to, did you have to iterate on this? Because those are really, really important attributes of building a great solution so that we can then surface and recognize the work you're doing through the solution challenge, okay? In regards to who can participate, it can be the lead, the core team, and members involved in the Developer Student Club. We wanna make sure it's open because it's a great opportunity to recognize the work that you and your community are doing. Okay, so this is kind of my little snapshot of what the solution challenge is. In regards to next steps, I want you to start now. So how many of you have already started thinking about problems that you wanna solve? That is very impressive. <laughs> So I think that's amazing, right? So if you already have an idea of problems that you wanna solve, now start working backwards. If you know by around February, you wanna you want submit a solution for that problem, maybe that informs your decisions of the kind of workshops, the kind of events, the, kind of, the way you set up your core team, right? These are important things and can work backwards. Which technologies do you think are being covered in your curriculum? Maybe what are technologies that you can incorporate in your workshops, right? So start now and make sure that you report once you get a project to a state that you want it to be reviewed by Danny or someone, right? So start working on the solutions now, make sure that you report them so we can provide them, provide you with relevant support. And then when the solution challenge comes prior to that, we'll make sure that you have all the information that you possibly need. Cool? How are you guys feeling? Thumbs up? Yay! All right guys, that's all I have for you. Um,